The Presidential Transition Council has stated its preparedness for the presidential inauguration come 29th May 2023 in a world press conference organized to brief Nigerians and the entire world on the program of activities planned for the 2023 presidential inauguration. Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Transition Council, Boss Mustafa said, they chose the theme of the inauguration as Nigeria better together because the event is historically significant to the nation and the international community, particularly Africa, because of the democratic values and lessons in nationhood. Correspondent, Equia Jide, for the report. The inauguration, which marks the seventh consecutive democratic transition of power in Nigeria and shall usher in the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. Mustafa said the Transition Council, having interfaced with leading democratic nations, including the United States of America and the Republic of Kenya, as part of its learning efforts to pick up useful lessons in line with international best practices. Our specific legislation on presidential transition will be passed soon in Nigeria. He reeled out programs heralding the inauguration to include regimental dinner in honor of the commander-in-chief and forces officers mess on Tuesday 23rd by 7 p.m. Valedictory Federal Executive Council meeting, Council Chambers, Presidential Villa on Wednesday 24th May. Investiture of the President-elect and Vice President-elect with the National Honor of Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, GCFR, and Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, respectively, and handover of transition documents at the State House Conference Center by 10 a.m. on Thursday, 25th, while on the 26th, there will be a public lecture and Jumat prayer at the National Mosque by 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. According to Mustafa, inauguration lecture on deepening democracy for integration and development by former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, will hold on Saturday 27th at the International Conference Center by 10 a.m., while Children's Day activities will hold at the Old Parade Ground by 10 a.m. and the State House Conference Center by 2 p.m. He said on Sunday 28th, an interdenominational church service will hold at the National Christian Center by 10 a.m. and assured that adequate security has been put in place to safeguard both visitors and citizens. The upcoming event is historically